agree, you know, humans aren't the only ones who need protection from the heat, especially with the heat this summer. Alicia Haperley from the LASBCA joining us now with some tips for keeping your four-legged friends safe this time of year. Welcome. And who do you have this morning? This is Lady. Lady is an eight-year-old Cocker Spaniel. And she, but she's very playful for an eight-year-old. She's been roaming the halls telling everyone hello <laughs> this morning. <laughs> okay. How um, did you... How did... There she goes, sitting down. <laughs> How did Lady end up with the LASBCA, and what kind of home do you think would be perfect for her? Well, um, Lady was abandoned, so our Aww. animal control um, team found her and brought her to us. We've had her for about a month and a half to two months now. She did have a microchip when we found her, and we traced it all the way back to Texas. Wow. So, but unfortunately, we couldn't get in touch with her original owners. So, Lady is all the way from Texas and looking for a new home in New Orleans. And what kind of a home do you think would be good for? Dog. Lady is very calm and she's very explorative, so she loves to smell things, she loves to explore. So really any type of an environment with kids, I'd say over 10 years old, that can kind of give her her space and let her roam mm -hmm. and would be very appropriate for her. Let's talk about dangers of the summer. We hear about it with kids. It's the same apply to people with pets. So what are the do's and don'ts when it comes to the hot summer with vehicles? Let's start with vehicles. Well, it's the same rule as kids, that's correct, that you never want to leave your pet unattended in a vehicle. Regardless if you leave the air condition running or not, you wouldn't mm -hmm. leave your child in an unattended vehicle. So the same goes for your animal. Those temperatures can rise to about 120 degrees, so it's very hot and it gets hot very fast. And they have fur. They have fur, right. So they get, I would venture to say, hotter quicker. Some people think, oh, I'm going to crack the window, I'm just going to run in and leave the dog in the car. No, it's unacceptable. And um, we, you know, we urge everyone, if you see a dog in an unattended vehicle, whether the AC is on or not, you know, stay by the vehicle, call 911, get somebody to get, that, get out there as soon as they can, and just make sure you're staying there to, you know, watch, make sure that the dog isn't getting lethargic or isn't, you know, passing out, so we can make sure that they're okay. And let's talk about um, legally, I mean, what kind of trouble or can someone get into trouble if they were to just leave their pets sitting in a vehicle all day in the city? Yes, that is considered animal cruelty, so it would be treated as such, and that is a crime. What are the other things that you, you want people to, to watch out for in the summertime with their pets? Because a lot of people maintain the same uh, routines, you know, running with them, jogging with them, keeping them outside. It's just kind of, um, you know, again, using your common sense. It's very hot outside, and if you're hot, your pet's hot. So if you exercise normally with your pet, consider going early in the morning or in the evening when the pavements are cool, because that pavement can kind of can burn their paw pads. Um, if your pet spends time outside, make sure they have plenty of fresh water, they have shade. Try not to let them spend too much time outside, especially if you have squishy-faced dogs like a pug, um, they get hotter much faster. And then if you have an elderly dog, again, they can get hotter much faster. So it's knowing your pet as well. And what are the signs that something's wrong it, with your dog and that they're having difficulty coping with the humidity, coping with the heat on certain days? Again, that's very similar to kids. Sometimes the signs of heat exhaustion is, you know, well, kids don't necessarily pant, but that's a dog's way to try and cool themselves. So excessive pants. They get lethargic, um, they can start vomiting, they can actually have seizures. Um, so keeping an eye for heat exhaustion signs is very important. And as soon as you see them, you want to bring them to an emergency clinic or your vet as soon as possible. And for those who think I'll leave the dog outside, you know, on those really hot days, it's got a little dog kennel or whatever, is that okay? Um, it, again, if that is your only option, we want to stress the fact that they have someplace cool to go to get out of the sun and they have plenty of fresh water, but we encourage you to bring your dog inside when it's hot outside as much as humanly possible. Just so like you him, would do with a human just being. Just like you would do with a human. Try to keep them indoors in the air condition and the cool weather. Okay, well, I hope you find a home for Lady. Oh, thank <laughs> you. We hope we find one, too. Oh, adorable dog. Thank you so much for coming in. Some thank great you for tips having